Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, and hello. This is Himi Syed with the City of Labyrinth Project at labyrinth.ca. Today is Labor Day Monday, September 2nd, 2019. And what do labyrinths have to do with the labor movement? I asked myself that question, and the answer is found here in the Flower City Community Campus. It's a large green space uh, by McLaughlin Road, which is behind me, and Queen Street, which is uh, now behind me. Uh, this is a large green space in the city of Brampton, Ontario. And behind me is a path that the uh, Peel uh, region Peel District Labor Board uh, had sponsored a lot of other people came on board and they built a labyrinth as a memorial to uh, workers that were injured um, or perhaps they lost their lives uh, working so we're gonna go for a little walk on Labor Day on the Monument of Labor and along the way, I will share some of uh, the motifs and the reminders and um, a little bit more of, the, uh, of what makes up this labyrinth. So here we go. So first of all, uh, here it is. It's the Milestones of Labor. And it's the Brampton and Mississauga. It's the District Labor Council for both of those cities which are two of the three cities in Peel region, the third being Caledon. It's a straightforward uh, interlocking brickwork, pave, 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 uh, pave lock bricks, I think it's called. So here it is, Peel region labor council 2014. I'm just going to uh, read this. It says, This monument recognizes union accomplishments, promotes health and safety in the workplace, and commemorates April 28th, the International Day of Mourning for workers killed, injured, or made ill on the job. Collaborations and donations make this possible. Motilal Sar Sarju President, Peel Region, Peel Regional Labor Council, 2014. My understanding is that uh, this um, was commissioned in 2012, and by 2014 it had become a reality. So that's on the left side of the pathway. On the right side, there's a little bit more about. Um, the work. It says, this sculpture honors the empowerment of workers as catalysts for change. It was inspired by sacred geometry and celestial rhythms. Walking the labyrinth offers an ancient meditative tradition where contemplated feelings transform into purposeful deeds. Brick pillars reminiscent of century area farmhouses hold five platonic solids. A rainbow emanates from the tube shouldered by three welded figures. The dome they stand upon evokes local terracotta badlands. The mural depicts a canary, a symbol of health and safety. At True North, sunlight penetrates the dome, illuminating geodes, commemorating special dates. Each year, the sun traces an analemma, infinity symbol, on the flagstone floor. So we'll see that once we actually enter the labyrinth proper. As we walk towards the labyrinth, there is this idea of uh, almost like a spiral. And as we go around it, there's a number of things here. These are uh, members of the uh, locals, um, the city, town of Caledon, City of Mississauga, City of Brampton, United Steel Workers National, Canadian Auto Workers National, Brampton Brick, Workers Health and Safety Center, 
and SEIU Local Ironworkers 721 Ontario Masonry Training Center. A number of the um, of the signs, the plaques may have fallen off. It seems that there were others, but they're no longer there. Acon, Owen Sound, Ledger Rock, Harry Chang, Humber College, uh, ATU Local 1573, if I have that number right, Canadian Labour Congress, uh, LIUNA 506, United Steel Workers District 6, Ontario Federation of Labour, QP Local 8131, and CAW Local 252. So those are a um, number of the member organizations that uh, I believe contributed to the funding, the financing of this memorial. Also at the foot of this pillar are, uh, are further names, CAW 4457, uh, I can't quite read that one. Andrew, Wur, Orangeville, Valux, Machinists Local 2123, Lafarge, Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation District 19, Peel, English, Fe uh, English Teachers Federation of Ontario. And that's not all. Uh, along the pathway, there's also um, some bricks and on the bricks it says artfx.ca uh, there's also some other ones Brampton I think that says Home Depot I'm not sure LePage United Steelworkers 9403 USW 6709 USW 7536 and others other United Steelworker locals CAW 584, CEP Ontario, and here's some more. Here we are, UFCW National, another one, another, another well, sponsor, CAW 2002, OPSU 277, that one, Super White Connections. And these, I can assume, were people who donated, organizations that donated to make this happen. And this may be a memorial. So it seems that there are names of people that, um, workers who were injured or passed away. Uh, I can just assume that, because uh, that's what this memorial is for. So, we are now walking, and that's what it looks like uh, behind us. Ahead of us, the path continues. The weeping willow, I believe, this tree. And though we're right beside a major road in Brampton, you forget about it. You, you don't even notice it as you're on the path. There's some benches around, so there's plenty of sitting space. And this, let me step back a little bit, that is the labyrinth proper. There are pillars, um, you kind of see four and we'll pass them as we walk. There is just before we enter the labyrinth itself, is a quote, and it says, this wisdom inspires milestones of labor. Quote, you work that you may keep pace with the earth and the soul of the earth, for to be idle is to become a stranger unto the seasons and to step out of life's procession that marches in majesty and proud submission towards the infinite. Work is love of is love made visible, end quote, Khalil Gibran. And this is an infinity symbol, the analemma. On either side of the entrance, there is, quote, this first quote is from J.S. Woodsworth, who is the first leader of the CCF, 1932 to 1942. 
Uh, it's a little worn out, but what it says is, what we desire for ourselves, we wish for all, for all to this end, may we take our share in the world's work and the world's struggles. So that's on one side. On the other side is another quote that's uh, a little bit more contemporary, and it begins. My friends, love is better than anger, hope is better than fear, optimism is better than despair, so let us be loving, hopeful, and optimistic, and we'll change the world. That is a quote by Jack Layton, the late leader of the federal NDP, 2003-2011. So these are the words that begin that you meet upon arriving and as you enter the labyrinth, we're going to go for a walk. There are more words, mourn for the dead, fight for the living, some other words. Lutte pour la vie, la Dieu pour les morts. In French. This is one of the pillars, and we have that eternal symbol, universal math. Um, it's known as the Fibonacci sequence. And there is a spiral, and that spiral informs life, it informs nature, it's found in nature, it's found in life and it's found in this labyrinth. Another of the pillars, and there is a geometry here. There is a worker, a sculpture of a worker at the top there. Another of the pillars in the corner of the labyrinth. That's uh, the double helix, the DNA. And the original opening pillar, a snowflake. This is a three-dimensional labyrinth that each of the lanes has its own um, distance from the earth, its own height. A little bit of this is cracking, showing its age. So this is the outermost lane of the labyrinth, the tower, or pillar rather. The Fibonacci sequence.
and here we are. This is a three-lane classic labyrinth. And there we are, the center. So as we enter it, there's a sound effect, there's colors, that there's a canary, there's a worker at the top. The painting, there's a spiral within a spiral. I didn't immediately see it at first, and it's kind of hard to observe. The artwork is, there's multiple layers and levels, ideas in here. Earlier I had found um, plastic flowers along the way and I had put them in here. So here is some artificial flower. I'm just going to put that in there, in that little space. There is a keyhole and light, sunlight comes through there at noon and it apparently does something that it travels at true noon throughout the year. And it's an artist idea there. There is the worker at the top, symbolic. And this is the Monument of Labor Labyrinth in Brampton, Ontario, Canada. It is the 2nd of uh, September. The first uh, Monday in September is Labor Day in Canada. There is a Labor Day parade in downtown Toronto, and um, I'm not there. I'm here to, in my own way, just sort of remember uh, the labor movement, people that I know that work, and to tie it in with my own personal project, the City of Labyrinths. So on Labor Day 2019, we visited the Monument of uh, Labor Labyrinth here. So if you're out in Brampton, and even if you're not, it's really worth the visit to come out here, stop, spend some time, and reflect. It's just wonderful. The area, the green space, it's easy to find. It's on major roads, McLaughlin, south of Queen. It's just something else. I've never seen anything like this and uh, uh, until today, until a few hours ago, I didn't even know this was here. Uh, so 2012 is when the, I understand the idea came about. Uh, 2014 this was commemorated open and uh, here we are five, year, five and a half years later, 2019. Hit me side with the Toronto and Vancouver City of Labyrinths project at labyrinths.ca Wishing you uh, a safe, safe day at work to all the workers out there. Happy Labor Day.